everybody, welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you are not dreaming. Go ahead and wipe your freaking eyes, Brad. We're not dreaming in this hoe. This is officially the return of My Damn Hauls, the episodic long series of unboxing bullshit in front of your freaking camera, mainly WWE action figure related. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it with episode number 62, if my calculations are correct. We have not uploaded a My Damn Hauls episode since April 2. 2019, which is literally almost a year ago. It was literally 9 or 10 months ago when we last uploaded the last episode. I'm super hyped. I know it only looks like two packages right here, but I also have some other things I've picked up. We're going to be building a custom here. We got some great ish going down today, and I'm freaking hyped to do so, and it's just, it's it's good stuff. If you guys are wondering why it took so long to bring back My Damn Halls, I really don't know why the episodic series went on hiatus. To be honest with you, uh, I think, uh, I, I really, I really couldn't tell you i think i just stopped getting a lot of stuff at once in the mail and then you know when i started getting stuff in the mail i was like well i don't really do my name hauls anymore so then i just ripped this shit open and then show it off in a different style video or something like that so that's probably why the series died but it is back and we're going to try to keep that hoe going and i'm going to try and save up my packages and stuff like that but we got these two packages to here today we got one from ebay we got some fan mail and i know i've had a lot of people ask me about fan mail which i can get to you guys in a little bit if you guys want to email me about fan mail my email is down in the comment section below if you guys want to do that i would i would love it i love your guys fan mail you guys know i have the massive easter egg full of fan mail i got my fan mail shelf over here for figures you guys send me if they're customs or something crazy, I put them over here on my shelf. If there's something really awesome, I may use it in the pick fed or put it on display. It just kind of varies, you know, from thing to thing. But anyways, I'm going to step over here and get these other things that I picked up at retail to show you guys. And then we're going to dive into these freaking packages with the return of the trusty knife. All right, guys, so taking a look at what I've got at retail, I went to Target and Walmart this week, and I actually grabbed an extra Elite 69 Champa, and I grabbed the Royal Rumble Elite Lita. These are the only two Elites they had on the shelf. I'll show you guys the figures too. I just wanted to include the boxes because they're pretty ridiculously the same as every other box and not cool at all. But you guys can see here, I did find them both. I already own the Macho Man from this way, but they only had the Lita on the freaking shelves, which is absolute horse shit. I'm always a day late. If you watch my videos and you're from the Tuscaloosa, Northport, bullshit, Alabama area, I know you're freaking snagging figures, Brad. I know you're beating me there and it's upsetting me. But anyways, I thought it'd be cool. I went to Walmart. This was the only thing on the shelf. I thought it was very random. Why? Just a one random Elite 69 Chompa. The last three times I've been there, no Elites at all, and just randomly one Elite Chompa. It's like they found an Elite Chompa, shoved his ass on the shelf, and was like, yeah, there it is. And then for Lita, only a lead on the shelf again. So I, I don't know. I just went ahead and grabbed it so maybe they'd restock them, you know. And I could use an extra Chompa. When you find that Chompa, I think that figure's pretty rare. You know, they, they, they kind of escalated in price. So if you find an Elite 69 Chompa, Brad, you go ahead and buy it. And then for the Lita, you know, I, I like the Lita a lot. I think it's actually probably the best figure in the set. I really like the dry brush detail in the pants. And we didn't, look a, we didn't look at the full series, so I thought that'd be a pretty good figure to grab. For collections and stuff like that, this makes my third Elite Lita. Need to rehaul the Elite 40 back down because I used it for a custom. <laughs> Almost vomited. But there we go. We got these two figures at retail and now we're going to dive in to these other packages. I think I'm going to start off with the fan mail because I don't know what it was or what it is and I want to get into that first. But before we get into the first package, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know what the trusty knife is, if you've been subscribed and you don't know what the trusty knife is, well then you're in for a damn treat, Brad. Behold the trusty knife. You think you got the courage to step in the ring? You well, but I hurt him real bad. I am, I am the bad. I am boy, real eerie. But I hurt him real bad. So if you guys have never seen the trusty knife in action, it is the trusty knife that cuts open all of our packages here on My Damn Halls. And uh, every time you open it, it plays the Dolph Ziggler theme music and turns pink and shakes. I, I don't know what the hell the deal is. I got this beautiful knife two years ago from my wife, and it's the trusty knife. It used to have my MDT logo, but the, it kind of got rubbed off because it was... I want to get it like in-stitched in there, but for now, this is what the trusty knife is. And uh, we're going to rip this hoe open. The trusty knife getting some usage for the first time on camera. 
in a long ass time, Brad, but I don't know what this is. I think it's fan mail. Uh, I know somebody sent me this. It's got some bubble wrap on it, it looks like, so I do want to be careful. That's why I didn't uh, typically, you know, stab it like I probably would. Like, if it was a box, oh, God, it would have been stabbed to hell. So we got something in here. It looks like we have a note that we can read to the class as well. Oh, yeah, we got a long note. Very happy for that. Can't wait to read it. So let's take off the note first. We'll put the note over here, and I want to get this out first before, you know, because I can get rid of the paper. All right, we got that open. I'm going to sit this over here, and then we're going to read the note aloud to the class. Oh, we got a drawing, too. That's freaking sick as hell. We'll get into that in a second. Dear MBT, I've been a fan of yours for at least two years and since then been a loyal fan. I always love the monthly Finn Balor customs, monthly Battle Royals, and the action figure setups. I know Dolph Ziggler is one of your favorite superstars, so I hope you like this drawing. Even though you say this ish is not for kids, I am 12, but still watch you. LOL. If you're making a video right now, then all you guys watching, remember to hit that like button. Hell yes. You're probably thinking, way to suck up, fam. Hell yes. LMAO. Well, anyways, hope you enjoy the stuff. MDT from MDA Live on YouTube, aka MDA.live on the IG. Definitely go give him a follow, guys. MDA.live. Hashtag shameful plug. Hashtag farts in a bag. Check out my custom Joker Balor on my channel. You'll be proud. Hell yeah, Brad. I'll definitely check that out and everything like that. What does this say? Letter to you. And then we got a sick-ass drawing of Dolph Ziggler right there, stealing the show. MDT on the attire. White boots from MDA Live. Thank you so much, bro. This is sick. This is actually... It's even got the 5 o'clock shadow detail in there. That's pretty sick. I like the art style we got going on. We got the wrist tape on there, stealing the show in pink. Very fire attire with the MDT logo on the knee there. Great stuff, bro. Thank you so much for the drawing. That's excellent. Thank you so much for the kind words and the note. I know he's a longtime fan because of the monthly custom Finn Balor's. We haven't done those in forever, and that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, the issue isn't for kids, but I know that kids do watch, and you know, that's okay. But anyways, guys, we also have some other things to go along with our letter. Thank you so much. Definitely go give him a follow on Instagram and check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description down below. But we do have this little, uh, this little figure set right here, which is really sick, nasty particles. I think I've seen this at Big Lots, I think, but it is this sick-ass... Did my camera move? What the hell? Okay, there we go. John Cena, The Rock, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and Roman Reigns. Yeah, big lots. I knew it. Yeah, great little collector five-pack. You got all five superstars right there. Thank you so much, bro. I think I've actually had fans send me this, like, separately, like the figure separately, but I've never had a mock box. So I think I'm going to actually leave these mock and put them over there on that shelf. So thank you so much, man. That's sick as hell. Thank you very, very much from MDC and everybody over here. We got the fan letter. We got the fan mail. Thank you so much to MDA, and thank you for the beautiful drawing that I I will be sticking in the big old Easter egg over there. So we got our fan mail package. Thank you so much again to MDA. And thank you so much for watching. What a baller. And then now we have our other package, which is from eBay. And actually, there's a good story to go along with this piece of shit package right here, Brad, okay? So they tell me that it's shipping. They ship it out. And then on the 8th of January, which was, what, four or five days ago, it says it was out for delivery. Later on in the day, I checked my mailbox. I was like, this shit's not here. What is this? And then I I check my mailbox, not there. I go on eBay, it says uh, held at post office due to customer request. And I was like, I didn't request shit, Brad. What are you what are you talking about? I didn't I didn't freaking tell you to hold this package. So then Victoria goes to the post office and they're like, We don't have it. And I'm like, What what do you mean you don't have it, Brad? You said right there. He's like, Yeah, it says it's here, but it ain't here. So then, you know, basically they say that some new worker was working that day and must have just not delivered it, marked it as customer request i was like well that's that's absolute horseshit so uh, then the guy says you know what i'll make sure it gets delivered i checked the tracking a couple days later and it says that it's back in california where it came from so then i messaged the ebay seller and i'm like what the hell is this and they're like this is the weirdest shit we've ever seen i've never seen nothing like that if it gets sent back to us we'll send it back to your way i checked my mailbox today freaking in the mailbox what the hell is going on what the hell is even that who cares it's here now we just build bridges and get over it you know what trusty knife do your worst Give a little tearsy right there. And this right here, guys, is actually going to be sick as hell if it all works out. That's if it works out. It's going to be 
Uh, it's going to be, uh, we're making a custom here today if everything turns out right. It may not turn out right. It may be an epic failure. But right there, we got a little cloth thing, and then we got another cloth thing. And right there, we got some pants, and we got a jacket, Brad. And you're probably like, what in the blue hell are you even doing right now, Brad? Well, I'm about to show you any second now. So we have these jeans, and you're probably like, why in the hell did you buy cloth jeans? And why the hell did you buy a cloth jean jacket? Well, I'm going to show you, Brad. I'm going to show you exactly why but here you go here's the here's the figure pants and there they are very very slim waist kind of worries me how slim that waist is but we'll have to see we're going to see if these figure these pants will actually fit the figures but there's our little slim jeans and then we have our little jean jacket and i'm about to show you guys a custom i've been working on that i hope this works out and i hope everything works out together we're, we're gonna see and voila brad can you tell who it is we have a custom elite Orange Cassidy in the works, and we're going to see. If you guys don't know who Orange Cassidy is, well, my God, you need to look him up. So nonchalant. He is not intimidated by the bastard at all. The referee's being distracted, as you can see. Yeah, look, how, look how unimpressed Orange Cassidy is by the bastard pass. I think uh, that's... He's in AEW right now, but uh, he basically is, is known for a few things. But uh, I made this, like makeshift Orange Cassidy figure and it's got like a Daniel Bryan head sculpt on it that I'm still working on. It's not completely perfect yet. I gotta repaint the hair and stuff and get it correct. But I got this custom shirt. I got a Daniel Bryan Elite. I put Pat Patterson arms on it so you can swatch out the arms. Uh, I have these uh, UFC Jax figure lower legs so that I could plug these Jason Jordan shoes in because they look just like Orange Cassidy's uh, boots that he wears. And they're actually articulated. They stay in and you can pop them out really easily as I struggle on camera but see they pop off and what I'm thinking is we can pop them off and then we can slide these pants on and then we can pop them back on so hopefully this works out you know it may not work out it may be stupid as hell but I saw these pants and this jacket on eBay and I said you know what Brad this is gonna work and if we can make this freaking orange Cassidy it's going to be ridiculous, but we're going to have to find out here. If I could slide the damn pants on. It's like really taking jeans off. Good Christ. You ever try to take tight jeans off? Shit sucks. I'm trying to slide them up here. I knew that this waistband would probably give us some trouble. I think if once we get it on the figure, it may work. We just got to get it on the figure for, uh, get it on the figure. But once we get it on there, I think it's actually going to look good. And they're going to give him the skinny jean look that he actually has. And I'll pull up a picture and show you guys while I'm struggling with this. Damn. Mercifully, I have have gotten these pants onto Orange Cassidy and I must say ladies and gentlemen first of all we have the custom shirt we have these pants from eBay and then we have the other you know the jacket from eBay and they're not the exact same shade but I am going to try and paint them both like add some like lighter tones because Orange Cassidy does wear like lighter jeans but you will notice that like his articulation is going to be very limited as far as like he'll bend the knee and stuff like that but the thing about Orange Cassidy is if you guys do know um, his offense is very you know he doesn't try very hard and when he kicks he literally barely kicks so I don't think, you know, him kicking forward like this isn't a huge deal. And for the most part, he's standing around. So I don't think it's going to hurt him that much. I am going to plug the shoes in as well to see, you know, exactly what that looks like. Because these shoes do look identical to the shoes he wears. One thing I would like to do, again, is to paint up these pants, custom, uh, custom painted. I may try to do that. But I do like the skinny jean look that it gives. And I do like that, uh, how tight they are. The one thing I will say is that they probably don't, you know, he's not as articulated as I'd like. But again, him kicking forward forward shouldn't be the biggest deal the pants do sit on the waist they are super tight though because these are actually made for i think marvel legends so the fact that they're even fitting this figure right now is probably you know a good thing it looks like he's got a massive bulge going on but you know what whatever but i'm gonna plug these shoes in then we're gonna put this jacket on and we're gonna see uh you know what the hell he looks like after that but i am gonna plug these shoes in to the best of my ability again i don't think you need heat you just gotta push them in there just like so, so there we go. And I did cut off the ends of the peg so they'd slide up in there and there wouldn't be any gappage and they would actually sit in there well. So this is actually kind of like a kit bash Orange Cassidy figure, but I think it is going to work out pretty cool. And I'm actually liking the way he's looking so far with all the custom clothes and stuff and everything like that. The only thing we have to do, uh, you guys can see on his shirt that is a picture of Orange Cassidy right there. But I think the only thing we literally have to do now is just put the jacket on and then uh, put his sunglasses on and he'll probably pretty much be a perfect figure. Holy shit, Brad. Like, I love that. Like, if anybody's an Orange Cassidy fan, let me know down in the comment section below what you think. We haven't even put the jacket and the glasses on yet, but let's go ahead and try this jacket out. 
Um, I don't think the jacket will actually like shut or button, but that's not a big deal to me. And there is Orange Cassidy with his jacket on. The one thing I will say is he usually rolls his sleeves up, but uh, it's not that big of a deal to me. You know, I could roll the sleeves up a little bit and I could, you know, paint the jacket, which I will do, but uh, I have an idea for a specific pose I want to do to give him that signature Orange Cassidy look right there. But I'm digging the way he looks, man. I like the way he looks a lot. If anybody's a fan of Orange Cassidy, you know, the jacket does look a little bit thick because it has that orange, or that orange, the uh, white t shirt or the custom t shirt underneath. But I think it fits the figure really, really well. And I like the way the, you know, the shoes look and everything like that. I think it looks just like him there. So the only thing I want to do now is go ahead and add the sunglasses. And now this figure will be freaking perfect. Besides the hair, I do have to fix the hair. But there you go. So bam. Orange Cassidy Custom. Maybe we can hit the side-by-side -side right there. But I think that is going to do it for today's episode of My Damn Halls. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. We have the Tommaso Ciampa. We got the Lita. We got the epic fan mail, fan mail from my boy MDA. So we got the fan mail, the Lita, the Ciampa, and the Orange Cassidy Custom. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the return of My Damn Halls. Plenty of epic episodes to follow. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next next video. Thank you.